You wanted to see me. Good God, what the hell are you doing? Upside down sit-ups. Great exercise, and it literally lets me see the world from a different perspective. Isn't there a men's gymnasium where you could do that? The world's my gymnasium, Ron. But I will stop if it makes you feel uncomfortable. Could you hold me while I dismount? Thanks so much. <clears throat> Question for you. In a town of this size, the Parks Department traditionally has 10 employees. You have only seven. Why is that? I work hard to make sure my department is as small and ineffective as possible. The department is so small because Leslie Nope single-handedly does the work of four people. And she's already scaled back her time. If she wins, she'll be dividing her time between parks and city council. I'm going to have to hire a deputy director to pick up the slack. No! Chris, that's unnecessary. The department is doing fine without Leslie. Then prove it. Complete one major project. Either we complete a government project, which is abhorrent to me, or we bring a new person into the department, which repulses me to my core. It reminds me of when my dad made me choose which of my pet calves to slaughter with my own hands for my sixth birthday. I couldn't choose, so I slaughtered both of them. And they were delicious. Hello, Ann Perkins. It's the first time you've said my entire name correctly. Nonsense. We are close friends. I have good news for you. I'm making the water fountain hygiene upgrade our number one priority. Oh, great. For some reason, when people in Pawnee use the water fountain, they put their mouths completely over the spouts. It's like this weird, disgusting local quirk. Kiss one water fountain drinker, you're kissing everyone in Pawnee, including him. I'd like to complete this project by tomorrow. Oh. Set up shop in our office. In fact, take Leslie's desk. OK, I will. Thanks, great. Do you want the door open or shut? Uh, opens fine. OK. I'd like to talk about your future. Why are we on this bench? This is weird. You did a great job solving that problem today. The leadership you displayed has gotten me thinking. I didn't solve that problem. April did. Really? Why did she tell me you did? Because she's April, and she doesn't want you to think that she actually cares about something. If you're looking for someone to help fill in for Leslie, April's a pain in the ass, but she's clearly the answer. Perhaps you're right. Should I go? Oh, you're still here? Yes. Nice job on the water fountain. It wasn't me. Don't deny it. I know it wasn't the nurse. I'm asking you to step up. Not replacing Leslie, just picking up some slack. I don't want to do things. I want to not do things. Just like you taught me. And I taught you well. But I don't like watching you wasting your brain. And you're too smart to stay my assistant here forever. I'd rather you start a business or use your hands to farm, but right now the department needs you. Please. OK. But only because you begged. Good girl. Chris Trigger. This is Ron Swanson. April's going to take over some of Leslie's responsibilities. Excellent. I have been a fan of April since day one. I told you. 